In this kind of environment, the most common kinds of dressing are the small and medium rocks which we already built and foliage. Foliage can and should be created in multiple ways for variety. I always start with something very simple. I simply stamp a few streaky flecks in paint mode to create a clump of grass. I use a wax material for foliage to soften the lighting so the flecks blend nicely. The duplicates feature in the tweak menu is useful to make it bigger. These clumps of grass are really useful to cover up joins in the terrain and even used for gameplay by obscuring the player's view. Again, use the wave effect to make it subtly rustle in the breeze. You can also create a small and simple flower, like the ones in the painting tutorial, and duplicate it the same way. I make the flower white so that I can tint it if I want to. More variety for less memory. I use the draw or brush fleck tools in paint mode to create plants with longer leaves. I use the duplicates option in the tweak menu, but rotate it around a single point to make a fern or similar plant. Remember that paint strokes don't cast shadows, so don't make painted foliage too dense or it will seem weird. I sometimes make the painting physical so it waves in the breeze. Just be sparing with physical strokes as they can get expensive. I turn off the physical tweak for ones that the player will never get close to, as the effect will be too subtle to be worth the expense. For denser foliage, I create a very loose sculpture using a soft blended stamped shape. I usually turn off Collidable in the Tweak menu, so the player can run through it like real foliage. I use the wave effect here, like the grass, to give it a bit of movement. The main benefit of sculpted foliage is that it casts shadows, so it's better for the thicker foliage and trees. Speaking of trees, I'll make some in the next step.